everybody, welcome to the Drop in a Coil show. I'm Flash, we got Larry Woods and Rob Works who just <laughs> sorted me out. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot, Grim. We, we're going to have some fun today. We got plenty to bitch about this week. And uh, we needed a place to vent, so we chose so, RealLibertyMedia.com. And for your chatting extravaganza today, we got Bots and Bodies. <clears throat> Barman, Beetle, Beetle. I thought Beetle was off work. Ah, he didn't log off. Uh, Cowboy Tech, hey, CT. Grimnir, Moose Girl, Kate, Aunt Ty, Chelsea, Dooney, Circle, hello, and Dan Van Meter, Duh, Me, by somebody. J Dread, J's, Nines, J's, Meister Brow, Prince, Rob Works, the Bubbler. Trust, you know what? Vanna White, Weather Dork. See, we got lots of sneaky fuckers. The Phantom 2, Chloe, Cyborg Noodle, Ensiv, Frumpy, Kiss, Matt, WJ2002, Push a Pencil. Good try, Chloe. Ponsas, Kawazai Moto. Somebody jumped in too. Uh, Scarin, Smodaz, The Holiest, Roger. And Z picks. So, anyway, hey, Uncle Larry, you got some bitching to do, don't you? Oh, yeah. Hey, and I called the show today just so you guys could have a giggle. It could be worse, comma, the Fed could reset finance. Hmm, hmm, hmm. That's a joke. All right, have fun, Larry. Ain't sure how it could be worse. Oh, um, well. New new COVID story. Went to farm supply store in a small town, uh, a little ways away from here, and uh, walked in the door and they said she got to wear a mask. And I said, "Well, read your ordinance. I I'm hard to hear and I got bronchitis. I got emphysema. I ain't supposed to wear a mask." Well, can you lean into the microphone a little bit? So oh, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. No, yeah, you're a little... How about, how about that? This is just a little louder would have been. I'm just being Jewish. Okay, no. Thanks, Larry. I'm sorry. Turn me up a little bit. Yeah, that's better. Uh, okay, so I I walked into the store, and, and they said, you got to wear a mask. And I told them I couldn't, and that the ordinance said that I wasn't supposed to. And they said, well, it's store policy. you got to wear a mask. So I put one on, and it took me less than 20 feet before I couldn't breathe. Uh, it, it was just one of those paper things, but I couldn't breathe. I was, was just exhausted. So I took it off, just hung it on one ear, and nobody said anything. Uh, but I just found out that courts have ruled that it's unconstitutional. That's a precedent. So I'm just going to say, do you want to be part of the class action suit against you, or what? Right. Jimmy. Oh. Yeah, screw that mask. Yeah, fuck him in the neck. I'm still being asked nicely. Not yet to run into a mandate. Yeah. It, it, it's the shop owners here, the store owners, the corporate people that are, are doing the policies. Well, I figured it out. All you got to do is get past the checkpoint. Yeah. Just get in, yeah, pass, and pass the little Nazi at the door, and then take your fucking mask off. Oh, my God. Yeah. Wow. Do you know how not American this guy, this sounds to me? Oh, it's totally. I can't even imagine. Uh, I'm going to start wearing a bandana. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, around my neck. Not not over my face, just around my neck. But still, see, you got to comply to survive. Yeah. And then when the little and then when the little hall monitor comes up to you, you just pull it out and and go and you know look at them and walk on. Wow. Before no, they can, before they can say a word, you just pull it out and look at them, stare at them for a second. If, if, so if, if you can make all the sheep wear a mask, 
What about shipping them? Oh, that's next. Yeah. yeah. Let's put the chip in the vaccine. Why? Why not just put it in the test? Instead, and we'll just call it a test. But it yeah. won't be a test of anything. It'll be an insertion to your privacy. Yeah, uh -huh. we're just but testing to see if you'll let us do it or not. Yeah, because you know you'll adjust. You'll get used to it. Don't worry. Yeah. It's the government. Yeah. Yeah, with yeah. that chip in you, they know everything that you do, everything you, everywhere you go, and they can shut your automatic money off your computer money. That's all it yep. is. It's computer. Oh, they're coming out with it too. They're just uh, there's. I just saw an article about uh, how they're going to start putting digital money into your account. I've got nothing. I I don't care. Oh, idiots. There's people out there. Like it's not already all digital anyway. I mean, what do you think a freaking bank transfer is? Uh, right, credit cards, credit cards, and debit cards. It's all digital money. In yep. my lifetime, there's been no money. It's all been promissory notes. Well, yeah. I was born well, the year they took real money out of the system. Well, they claim on the news and, you know, the documentaries that, well, Nixon ended the gold standard. No, the, they ended the gold standard way before that. Yeah. They just play a lot of games with the reading public that doesn't have enough money to buy gold. They just read about people that buy gold, and that satisfies them. Yeah. Uh oh, the bubbler is having a bubble attack. What do you think, Larry? I got a bit of a bubble. Thank you, give me a headache. Uh oh. <laughs> I, I'm just, I'm just ready for it all to be over with. Screw this. Wow. See, that's what they're trying to do, though. That's the outcome they want. They're and they're disguising it as help to the public because. No. They've got right. an ignorant fucking public out there that doesn't know their elbow from a... You know, yeah. It's like the war on drugs. Yeah. It didn't do nothing. They not sure did. Nothing. It made a lot of people rich, baby. Yeah. Kept a lot of jobs going, too, for a lot of years. It created well, work for people that would have otherwise had to go out and rob people to make a living. I agree with that. <laughs> you know, because where do you think mercenaries come from and people that want to be police? Boston. These fucking people, they want to go out there and bust somebody's head. They're looking for that. Yeah. Wow. What? And this is okay with the public? What a bunch of weirdos. Uh, Absolutely. What a bunch of saddists willing to wear masks to go buy diapers. Are you out of your fucking minds? Well, Larry, that made me have a dark thought. Um, uh, the way you were talking there j uh, just now. Um, and it made me uh, think of another question um, about your partners. Uh, your partner that's there in Kansas there. Uh, you had said one time before that you wanted to get them on the show. Did you ever talk to them about that? or? Yeah, and, and they both work. Uh -huh. During the during yeah. the daytime, and we just don't have yeah we can't get together. But if something were to happen to you, God forbid, um, we would just be different. we would just be lost, <laughs> you know. <laughs> four different people in four different countries have a, a registered letter for me, a registered packet for me. Uh -huh. That's got everything everything that anybody would need to know right except the wiring diagrams uh -huh. and I'm I'm working my little fingers to the bone doing those diagrams now right well, I was just I was just hoping some way we could get somebody that's connected to the group or to your partners or or one of your partners uh, uh, in the loop so we can keep keep up with what's going on if if something were to happen. Well, I'm not really worried about that. Yeah. Uh, other other than pain, I'm in excellent health. I haven't had the cold or the flu since I was a teenager. But well, that's good to know. Yeah. 
Yeah, I yeah. don't get you sick, sick around for a while then. Yeah. Well, good. If, if I eat bad food, yeah, I'll get sick. But other than that, I don't get sick. I don't get fevers. I don't get sore throats. I, my nose runs every once in a while when it's pollen season, but yeah, <laughs> you know that's like that. Uh, yeah. Alive, you should. Yeah. yeah, welcome to life. Yeah, but, uh, sure, he's alive. Yeah, yeah. I, my belly's still warm, so I'm healthy. You know, all this—they're going to get sick from healthy people bullshit. It, yeah. it just how can you? That's stupid. I, Anyway, I go outside barefoot as much as I can. I sit on the ground every opportunity that I get. You know, bumpkin. Yeah. Well, yeah, you're yeah. one of those country bumpkins that I made fun of <laughs> up in L.A. when I was a kid. <laughs> well, yeah, probably I'm not trying to be like a country bumpkin because I'm old. Turned <laughs> <laughs> around, I'm growing vegetables with my wife like some kind of dork. It's bullshit. I've I've milked a cow and I've churned butter. There you go. Uh, I've ridden a cow. My grandmother used to have an old milk cow that would let me ride it around the barnyard. I think I've eaten a couple of them in my lifetime. <laughs> yeah. Probably. More than a couple. I, so. You know, they're a really an interesting animal. If you ever spend time around animals... Oh, I'm yeah. not talking big herds of anything, because around here they got small little places, and there might be two or three cows on the farm. Yeah, you walk by, yeah. and there's a place. Should be. A cow. Yep. Right, but they're really they're they're interesting animals. If you got a milk cow and a sow pig, you're set for life. Oh yeah, probably and some chickens. Yeah, yeah, you got to raise chickens and yeah. yeah. then got to have my eggs, man. Right? <laughs> you you raise guineas along with those chickens, and they will alert you to anything new on the property. A fox comes around, a coon comes around, they'll set off them guinea hens, and everybody will know it. <laughs> <laughs> and then they lose my Have I ever <laughs> have I ever poked you about your opinion on hemp and hemp products on the radio, Larry? I uh, know, but I'd be glad to talk about that. Yeah, because I didn't know if I'd ever hit you. We've talked so many times about, I don't know, so much. I've lost track. Well, you know, take us down Hemp Road. I'm, I'm an old guy, and when I was 15 years old, I got to spend the summer busting horses. I was a pilot that year. Uh, I got to pick it up from under the horse's tail and pile it behind the barn. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, <laughs> in in those days, there were still the hemp ropes. Yeah, a hemp yeah. rope is uh, the yeah. very best throwing rope that there is. Yeah, or not. If, if you can if you can make a loop. You can hang it on the horse's neck or his feet any time you want to. Uh, hemp is light enough that you can throw it a long way. It holds a loop real well. Uh, it's far superior. It's stronger than steel, so you can have a lighter, smaller diameter rope, just like our coils. Uh, and Imagine that. There, yeah, and it doesn't rot. And so, it, good stuff, man. Uh, hemp clothes. You used to be able to, to get hemp clothes. Still can. Uh, yeah. More and more these days, yeah. Since the Levi days. started out making their jeans out of hemp. Oh, yeah. Everything was hemp. Yeah. Hemp was a huge, uh, massive industry. Hemp well, yeah, crop that's and the shitty, dirty, filthy industries that should have never been allowed, but they made hemp illegal. Yeah. yeah. Hemp, hemp crop is a three times a year harvest, and you're harvesting 30-foot long vining plants. Yeah. Uh, you can... 
out of a 30 foot long hemp plant, that's one strand, or that's thousands of single strands of, of fiber in that one stem. And it's one piece from end to end. Uh, that makes one hell of a rope. So, uh, the, it, it's really strong sewing thread. There's lots of things you can do with hemp. Besides the medicinal purposes. Well, that's a different plant. It depends. No, well, no hip, hip itself has medicinal purposes as well, and food. They're different, yeah. yeah. And yeah. Food, as a food. Different. Yeah, it, it makes excellent feed for cattle. Yep. Oh, boy, hemp fed. Yeah, roasted yeah. salt and hemp yeah. seeds are pretty good, actually. And I'm not big on food, but even that even makes my mouth drool. Yeah, hemp flour. Yeah. Hemp flour is, you know, that's healthy food. Oh, very good. Now, I, I'm all for the the re yeah the un unlegalizing de decriminalizing. That's the word. And that's that's just there really scratching the surface. There's so many more things that can be done with it. There's you can make plastic out of oh, it. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. Any anything you can do with oil, you can make out of hemp. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. anything. Yeah. You so what plastic that's not toxic? Yeah. And it's renewable. What would your coils be like if you could make them out of hemp? Can you visually explain an, a, an improvement, or would that just be imagination? Actually, if we take hemp fiber and nano coat it with silver, it would be a much better coil. Look at it that. Would be a, it would be a higher output coil. Damn. So illegal because of the hemp laws, or what? Or do you know? Not anymore. Yeah. Well, it depends on they where changed you're at. that. Well, no, they they changed it federal. Okay, well, I'm 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 not. No, sure. that doesn't mean that doesn't mean Roscoe P. Coltrane ain't going fuck with you. But <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it it's federal mm -hmm. that they removed it, but you have still got to have a permit to grow it, just like tobacco. Yeah, wow. yeah, like they did tobacco in there and everything else. Alcohol. Yeah, skin people. Such a great story. Yeah, they got to get their cut. The mob has to have their cut. <laughs> the yep. Jews, you can say it out loud. Okay, I'm, the I'm, Jewish I'm, mafia has to have their cut. Cause that's, as you that's something know, everybody should look into is the Jewish mafia. Huge. Well, yeah, but see, they got played down so they wouldn't track Well, the whole, the whole Italian mafia thing in the movies and all that was all... To take attention away from the real mafia, which is the Jewish mafia. The tribe. Don't tell. He, he's uh, he's the uh, Trump kiss the wall. <laughs> he, Israel's a cool place. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they've all kissed the wall. Can you imagine being that naive? Rob. Yeah. Rob. <laughs> yeah. Is that what they call the Messiah? <laughs> Makes me laugh still. <laughs> yep, and they're all tripping over themselves trying to freaking uh, prove who has the most, who's the most pro-Israel. Uh, yeah, of the of nope. the, of the two bobbleheads. Have you? Yeah, there was a woman couldn't get a job in Texas or Arizona <laughs> because she wouldn't find this uh, waiver thing. Yep. Uh, yeah. She says, I won't boycott uh, Israel yeah. products. Texas had that. Wow. Texas what had that we, shit. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to blame you. It's all your fault, man. You let, look at what you... You let these people all run amok. Look, they're all fucking each other over like a bunch of... Thought it was the United States, people. What happened? Larry and Rob seemed to get along okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. <sighs> well, I just don't get this, man. It's just so ridiculous. It's so big that it's out of your personal control, whoever you may be. <laughs> yeah. And then it matters to you. Then go get involved in it and do something. But why do I, you know? Why does Larry have to wear a mask to go grocery store? And that's stupid. Doesn't solve anything. It's just like you say. It's a form of social control so they can get that anger up and keep people stupid. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then when you do something right and you succeed in in some academia like Larry has. Holy crap. Hans you just out. Hans what? just made a salient point. Oh, okay. One. The old axiom was correct. People do not care about a problem until it affects them personally. That's oh, that is absolutely fucking true. Yes. But it doesn't stop other people from throwing it at you like it does. <laughs> Well, I went to that farm supply store just so I could get a buggy whip to take with me when I go out in public. Yeah, hey, that would be fun. <laughs> yeah, they're about six foot long. Yeah. And just anybody gets within that little circle, I'll hit them with a yeah. buggy whip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Snap. Snap. Check the right there. Yeah. yeah. Pop it right yeah. next to their ear. <laughs> <laughs> After he got arrested for beating the shit out of the snowflake with a whip, then <laughs> your rights will be necessary because you'll be in a jail cell. <laughs> no, fucking no, no, you don't touch them and just crack it right into the their Right, but see, they're still going to arrest you because you're going to whip the shit out of some idiot. So, long way to Yeah. Just look. Just like the ones that, that had their guns in their yard when they when the BLM came uh, busting through their gate and shit. Yeah, well, I never arrested them for Australia. for brandishing weapons. Yeah, okay, I, I shit out of Australia that looked pretty weak. You know, they're so desperate. Australia's to got nuts. Yeah, they're arresting women in their homes over uh, internet sites. Wow, your opinion on. Facebook gets you thrown in jail. Oh, yeah. Where they come to your fucking house and arrest you with handcuffs. Yeah, over what because it's something freedom. you said on Facebook. Yeah. It's freedom, huh? Crazy. Mm-hmm. It hasn't got that bad here, I'll tell you that. I don't think the Danes would take something like that seriously. They're way less, um, what do you call that, uh, censored than other countries. Yeah. Yeah, they're trying to be just like the United States. Nah, they they don't treat their kids like a bunch of babies like the U.S. does. That's for sure. They're still, nah, they're still in, uh, I see people with their kids all the time in town. Every day I go out there, there's people with their children, you know, from day one on up, and they, they, they interact out there. They do that on purpose. You know that, no uh, social distancing. Because they don't want to be outdone by Sweden. <laughs> Same. That's the next country over. Fucking ah, that's, that's your primary uh, rival. Uh, there, yeah. Well, you know, concerning the hoax, yeah. Sweden set a standard for the whole fucking planet to look at. Yep. But nobody's talking well, about it. Of course not. It's not popular for something to be positive and work and save you. It, they want you to suffer and be miserable and die. Yep. That's a big one. You know what I didn't get from Google this year? I didn't get a happy birthday card. No? <laughs> well, because they want me to fucking die. <laughs> I didn't send you happy birthday wishes. <laughs> oh, I got a card. <laughs> I've never got one. I'm going to ignore Google right back. I've been ignoring them for years. I, I'm starting a protest. <laughs> I'm getting calls daily from the president, guys. Every cool. day he calls me up. Uh, he wants my money. Oh, that, yeah. <laughs> Old Don, you know, the guy that works for free. But he wants you to donate. You sure that's not, not a televangelist? I mean, All right. He's a billionaire, so he's going to blow off his 200000 a year, whatever it is. And yeah, <laughs> that's a grand gesture. Oh, wow. On toilet yeah. paper. You don't see him bailing out, you know, Louisiana or anything. No. <laughs> he's not that rich. <laughs> no, as far as rich people go, he's not in, even in the top ten. I don't think. Do you, do you, but do you think that Donald Trump knows the truth about fiat currency? I think he does. I would be shocked if he didn't. I I don't think he'll ever. Face Somebody that's me. that that far up in the game is they they know what the fuck the game is. Yeah. Yeah. You don't get that. 
You don't get there without knowing the fucking score. No, he's the limousine baby. His his uncle was the thief. Oh yeah. Little reading oh. about Mr. John Trump and his dealings with the uh, Tesla. Look back to everybody that's a millionaire, a billionaire now, yeah. and all of the all of the people that founded the fortune are fucking thieves. I know. Well, how else? I, besides that, who needs a billion anything? What kind of you know, greedy, selfish fuck is? <laughs> why how would you look, look up to somebody that's that selfish? I don't how full that. would your house be if you had a billion marbles? I don't know. That's a mess. Filled with marbles. <laughs> <laughs> I could do a lot. I could do a lot with bones. I'm just, I'm just gonna say. Well, what I'm saying to you as a, as an opinion is, I think the concept of that much is ignorant. It's for, for one person to have personally, yes. And for all the for all the technology that we have, and we've had confiscated by governments over lifetimes. Yeah, ten million ten million is sufficient. Yeah, we're in the shithole we're in because of people that fucking vote and support governments. Serious. That's the way it is. That's the way it is here. When I was in the UK, that's how it was there. Yeah. People love their. I don't get it. They love their queens and their freak. And presidents. You know what they don't love? Tell us. Being self responsible. Oh, God. Taking no. life the way life really is, not yeah. with all this insurance and protection and currency and all that crap. No, no, we need free stuff. Free stuff. Yeah. Well, free education, free health care. Well, why should free where, money, why should, free apartment? Why shouldn't education be free? I think education should be given to you. Uh, they sure. charge you for in, intelligence or uh, intellect or knowledge, whatever word you use to describe it. it sickens me that they sell it like so. Uh, like yeah. uh, okay, uh, who's, who's going to pay the salaries? Who needs? Oh, I fucking pay. Who's going to do the? Know, who's going to do the fucking work? <laughs> who's gonna? Yeah, who's gonna support the team? Who's gonna grow the crops? Who's gonna build the build the buildings? Well, I think we're gonna find out before the next year. The next twelve months will serve their purpose, and we're gonna find out by ended up in physically small communities, and that'll just call the herd. Well, you're gonna be really busy. No, there's a small yeah, yeah, you're gonna be really busy because Circle just puts you to work. She says she needs 10 million kisses from you. <laughs> so, <Yeah. buddy. laughs> so, yeah, you're going to be real busy this year. So, see, I can't go home and fight the enemy. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> saving my life, I mean, in the long run. Because I'd be a completely different person than on my own home soil dealing with the shit that I read about. Well, yeah, you take it way more personal. Oh, fuck it. You know, seeing people with masks at the train is one thing. You know, they don't go that far out of it with that mask thing. It's only mandatory on the train. I don't even think it's mandatory. They just require... Just you know, expect they it. Yeah. Please, you, and then they just get shamed in doing it because they're days. <laughs> Countries have that kind of thing. States have that kind of thing, Right. Yeah. Where people are loyal to a certain idea because they've been raised to believe it's real. Mm -hmm. and it I agree, Moose. Yeah, yeah Moose. That's that's what the apprenticeship program and the major industry and the major crafts are. Apprenticeship it's a is a wonderful thing. Is the way to go. Yeah, I'm a uh, big believer in that. You've got to, you've got to have a basic skill, like you've got to be able to read and write. Oh, yeah, you got to have the basics. Have, yeah, uh, so we we still need an elementary, a uh, beginning school. That should be done at home. Well, yeah, I would love that. Let's go back to mom stays at home and doesn't have to work. Exactly. 
that would be a beautiful society. You should be able to support a family on one income. Maybe with free energy, we can do that. Maybe well, when you get paid for the power that you consume, we can do that. Yeah. Well, see, it's all this, the whole commerce game is written in a way that created the mess that we're in. So it needs to be replaced with something else besides what we have, because this is just stupid. Yeah. People pretending to go to fucking Mars and the moon. I mean, children's stories brought to life with the help of television and newspapers. The things that we depended on to tell us the truth did nothing but lie. My whole yeah. fucking life, lie, 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 lie. And here we are in the COVID. More bullshit. COVID. So, the public is so dumbed down and freaking numb on drugs and shit from the government, you know, the medical practice. They can't even fight it. Because yeah. I listen to you two guys. You you ain't playing around with this fucking COVID, some victim bullshit, wearing a mask and being afraid. So where are the people that are? <laughs> <laughs> See? It's so it every day. an exaggeration. They just write a story and put a number there, and you either you believe it or you don't. That's how I see this whole fucking life. Yeah, what well, I'm seeing is the only places that are enforcing it here are the big corporate stores and stuff. Yeah. And yeah. The chain stores, you know, and uh, all the big corporate stuff. Well, we got a little, little barbecue joint I got to uh, outside of town here a little bit. Yeah, well, they're not even wearing masks, but, <laughs> but that, yeah. I mean, they have them around their neck, but they really pull them up, you know. Good. If somebody walks up to the counter, they'll pull them up. But, well, think of being served food from somebody that's been breathing in a fucking mask all day, and they rub their fucking mask. Yeah. On the outside, the mask has got that microscopic snot shit that everybody's all terrified of. Yeah, uh, it's, it's just, you know, it's in the air, man. You're breathing air. And it says right on the box, you know, that the mask comes in. If you look on the side, this does not stop any virus, period, in the, in the states. This does not stop any virus, period. <laughs> man, there's do no I need to repeat it five more times? Well, it seems like I do. But if you're not already ill and you get this, big deal, you can't deal with a flu, you're inconvenient. Well, yeah, if you're, if you're so frail and, and broken right. that, that right. I mean, falling down a steps going to kill you. Right. So other people not being self-responsible for their lifetime, right, and following the guidelines yeah. of the government as, as health measurement. Yeah. Plan, okay? And they all ended up sick as fuck. Okay, yep. and now with the rest of us that are healthy to bow to their whims because they're they're, because they're afraid. Fucked. Yeah, Dell has a point too. People are getting huge facial problems from wearing a mask, sores and blisters. Um, there's a story you can look up. Uh, look up uh, mask mouth dentists talking about it. People coming in with mask mouth. Common sense. And teenage acne is getting worse because of it. Yeah, it just, uh, it's, <laughs> it's, your body's it's really common sense. Come on, there's a reason you 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 have lungs and you inhale and exhale air. No, there's a reason <laughs> you're born naked, too. Well, yeah. Uh, that's a whole other argument. Yeah. I was being funny there, Rob. I wasn't was rapping. No, or are you jumble that remark? No, I was actually thinking about that. <laughs> <laughs> if you took away all the uniforms, nobody would know who to shoot at. See? That's how you stop war. Yeah. Probably. That's right. Well, well it, it, then it would break down on racial lines and it would be the wrong, <laughs> get the wrong color skin. <laughs> so there we are, right back in the same fucking boat again. Oh, uh, you go. Is your right half black or your left half black? Um, this side's the right. Yeah. <laughs> so the Jews finally got fed up with uh, other religions infiltrating the Jews, getting circumcisions. So now they want it illegal. Oh, good. I just made that up. I don't know. If There's going to be thousands oh. of rabbis heartbroken by that because no they're no longer just a baby dick. 
Yeah, because that that stuff is <laughs> oh, it's Oh man, there's some. Boy, we got some wackadoodles in politics, religion, education. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, but the politicians and the teachers and all, these other fuckers make the actors in Hollywood look boring. <laughs> Prince fucking Charles. They're just they're they're running him through the ringer right now because he likes young girls. Now, that might yeah. not aggravate a lot of people, but it usually gets me because I had daughters. So I go, eh, fuck him. You know, I wouldn't want him molestering my kid. You know, even though at 17 or whatever, you're not a kid anymore. But, you know, we've been trained to judge. <laughs> I, just, yeah. I don't want to molest them, but I think high school cheerleaders are beautiful. See? They're, uh, right. But there's some people that just... Uh, they appreciate like Joe sniffing the kids you know it's like Joe yeah, he's, <laughs> it's not a yeah. menu you fucking idiot it's, it's a living being <laughs> you know, that's some old fucking geezer sniffing your neck <laughs> oh man you can see it in their faces too man they're like oh my god get this thing away from me and there's yeah. a 50-50 chance that Biden's going to win this freaking selection. Yeah, no, there ain't no fucking snowball's well, chance sure. in hell, man. You trip. I've been away. I'm telling you. Trip exactly what happened. You've been watching okay. CNN. No, I'm telling you from, I saw the same, this is the same act, only it's it's Trump and Biden now. It was Hillary and, and Trump last time. And Hillary beat him. In the college room, eh, we're going to give it to Trump. Fuck you, hill dog. Go cry. And I think this next time is going to be a reverse. They're going to go, hey, let's really fuck this soup up because there's nothing left to burn. Let's give them Biden. <laughs> yeah. The Biden legacy will be the failing of the United States. Why would Trump want his name attached to that? Come on. He doesn't want to. You know what? I, I don't think it matters. Whoever wins, I think the country's going to blow the fuck up. Well, absolutely. Both sides, both sides are so fucking extreme at this point. It's, well, it's, we, we need to get rid of the advisors. <laughs> swear you the, 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 the group of people behind the scenes that's telling everybody what to do. Yeah. Those are the folks we need to get rid of. These That'd figureheads. Trump is just the figurehead that proves to the world that the corporations run it. Period. Yeah. Ta -da. <laughs> well said, sir. <laughs> so it, it, it it's the guys behind the curtains, the Wizards of Oz that we've got to get rid of. Right. That people think is a. a fantasy or a conspiracy theory, they don't believe it's possible because they have deep-rooted faith in their government. Well, there's, there's a few people that are playing chess with all the countries in the world. <laughs> yep. If you're, if yeah, you're they run the meetings every year called G20, Bilderberg, yeah. Davos, yeah. uh, you know, if you're part of the World Bank, then we won't do anything but accept tribute from you. If you're not part of the World Bank, we will make war on you. Yeah. And that's the way it is. Until you, until you can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the shit they're getting away with in America right now with this writing crap. Burn oh. cities. I, I, can't, I came up with an idea why they're doing it. And that is because these fuckers that you're talking about behind pulling strings have already signed the contracts to rebuild the cities they're destroying. They're going to make these fucking smart cities. The ones yeah. that yeah, them, yeah. they're going to do it because everybody left. They fucked it all up. We got to rebuild. Might as well rebuild smart. How convenient. Oh, it's a dental. <laughs> Problem reaction solution. That, 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 that. <laughs> What would Beatles say right now? We're so fucked. <laughs> but I'm not. I'm not. 
going to doomsday in my lifetime, but I'm going to say that looking down the road at what they're doing now, 30, 40 years from now, people are going to be like test tube things. <laughs> you know, with extra components, and you can plug a human into the wall to charge them and shit like that. Okay, let me sort of twist this a little bit sideways. Okay. that That's a reality. With vortex math, you can use vortex math to plot their human DNA. And it will tell you, vortex math will tell you where to put what we think is junk DNA. So all they've got to do is, is move those pieces to where they're supposed to go, and they will have superhumans. People that can read minds, people that can communicate telepathically, people that can levitate. They'll have all of that. Well, I believe that over the last couple hundred years, they've figured out how to dumb us down and slow us down. So we Absolutely. Yeah. The, the books I learned from in high school were 20 years old. That's in my day. Mm -hmm. uh, but in, in those days... We were between first and third in science and math worldwide. Yeah. And now we hardly on the damn list. Oh, yeah. Moose is talking about hearing loss. I think I, I've got certain tones or pitches I miss when I'm, I'm in other rooms. I don't hear as well today. Uh, I'm, I'm, yeah. I wonder I'm if, I'm if it's damage or if it's just, uh, it could be I'm not taking care of my ears good enough. To check into that medically to see if I don't have some wax or something in there. Well, yeah. Mm. And you can clean the wax out of your ears. Yeah, but it's with. not. It's it's one of those things that it's so internal that you don't think about it because it's yeah. not a matter of clean or not. It's a matter of it's packing in your ears so deep that it's yeah. in your hearing. And well, we're not, I wasn't taught a lot about medicine. Larry had to learn the hard way. And to get old and find out. <laughs> let, let, let me tell you an easy way to clean your ears. Okay, I'll take that. Clear white vinegar, uh, about a tablespoon worth of white vinegar, and about a tablespoon, a, a couple of tablespoons, and a couple of tablespoons of water. Mm -hmm. Suck that up in, in one of those ear syringes and squirt it in your ear and... Keep your head tilted until it gets to, till it stays in there good. Yeah. And then put just a little piece of cotton in it and let uh, that sit in there half a day. Really? And, yeah. Uh, and then go in with that same little syringe that you put it in there, that squeeze ball that you put it in there with, suck it out because yeah. there'll probably be something in there and that will help clean your ears. Because when I had you know, it out. children, we had these little tools for stuffed up noses and whatnot. So I'm familiar yeah. with the concept. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, one of those little squeegee things. Mm -hmm. Squeegee ball. Uh, well, uh, a snot ball they use for cleaning babies' noses. Yeah, but, I yeah, mean, a snot ball. But I learned so many tricky things on the internet web that I, I can compare them to other ideas that I don't think of all by myself. I've actually cleaned people's ears as a medic. Yeah, well, I right. wasn't. And uh, yeah, I, okay. the way we did it is we lay down and put a, one of those little banana pants mm -hmm. under your ear, and we get a giant syringe and put about half and half lukewarm water and alcohol. Mm -hmm. And you fill that syringe up and you squirt it in the ear and you just keep doing that over and over and over until you get everything out. Well, that sounds disgusting. I've got chunks of wax out of people's ears the size of the tip of my pinky. Yeah, yeah, because it gets compacted inside your head, and you can't clean yeah, it out. basically. Yeah, and that's what I mean is I'm so old now. I didn't expect to get this old, fuckers. <laughs> they surprised the hell out of me. Anyway. So here I am, and things are wearing out and breaking down. And I have to start paying attention so that pretty soon you'll have hair coming into your ears. It'll tickle you all the time. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, the future is so bright. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. As long as Cirque don't mind, I guess it's cool. You'll, you'll look down at those hands, and instead of being strong and smooth-skinned, you'll be all wrinkledy and veins showing, you say, well, whose hands are those? Yeah, but that's all right. It hasn't happened yet. Soon. But I had a, I had a really nice birthday this week, though. So all right. Yeah, you sounded quiet. like you were in good spirits. Yeah, the family popped over, and uh, we had a barbecue. We made this. We got a fire pit. Cert designed this fire pit out of bricks and... Oh, you know, thinking ahead so that it it could uh, be used to cook on it. <laughs> that was brilliant. Oh, they, so they threw charcoal into the fire pit and the tray and cooked steaks. All right. Great. But then it got dark and I can't see. And I didn't want to sit there trying to eat a steak in candlelight, so I came in the house. But they're cool. They're, they could, then they can speak Danish and not be worried about me not knowing. What? Yeah, I think that's what they're talking about. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 they're not nothing like they. If, and even if they did, it would just be punking me, and it wouldn't be serious. These people are they're, they're fine. They're like me, like you and uh, like Grim and Larry. Uh, and yeah, they get along. Just regular folks. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, but it was just nice to you know have a, a little bit of family and nice meal. <laughs> Cool, cool. Yeah, I gave up my partying days pretty much. So, except for when I see, when my brother-in-law comes out, and I go drink with him. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, that's about the, the big things. You know. My big big things. happenings in northern Denmark. Yeah. Well, yeah, but see, if the shit ever hits the fan here, we we'll just turn the house upside down and float it to Sweden. <laughs> 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 I'll have to steal a boat or something. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Stress wow. and energy. Well, stress and energy is together or something. <laughs> we'd be, a, yeah, we'd be, a, you know, refugees from the COVID. Seeking <laughs> freedom in 20, you know, whatever year. <laughs> it's just ridiculous that this hoax has taken such a, such a hold on so many people. So many countries. Yeah, there's a lot of money behind it. For sure. sure, but well, right, but it's all in credit anyway. So I don't really yeah. get the allure, the allure of the money bullshit. Right. They, they do that so that the American people can pay it back. <laughs> well, yeah, but I was picking on Australia right now. Well, you can do it so really? the Australian people can pay it back. I heard they were talking about putting the vaccine in an aerosol form and spraying it through the, the chemtrails. Oh, I fucking pay. No. <laughs> okay. That's, yeah, they're going to just kill us off. That's, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. Uh, they're going to no mean. They're going to force it. Mm. I had other Somebody stops them. Well, then I'm going to have to find a way to resist the evil that men do. And I hope that living in a small population will be a lack of interest to them. <laughs> you know, get in the, places. You know, leave me alone. I ain't bothering you. Get an original M14 or an M1 Grand and just shoot at them. Oh, no. I'd have to go see bikers to get guns. I don't want to do all that. Oh. Thank you. Uh, I got a nice, peaceful life. Fuck them. Let them blow us up. See, and when, when me and Cirque made the decision in the beginning, she was commuting to work. Now she doesn't have to commute so much. She's home. So if we're going to get the world's going to blow up, they're going to go, hey, the world's going to blow up in three hours. Then we can sit there on the porch and watch it go up. Yep. Yeah. I won't have I to wait for her to get home for, on the train. <laughs> I want it to be blown to part. By a gigantic meteor that completely blows apart the earth all at one time. Everybody, boom, you're done. That's like grim. Wow. No more suffering. They did it all over with at once. Are you related to grim? <laughs> I I'm got, telling you. You fostered grim, you can't type. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he said, I'm like, hey. Oh. I think I think that Grimm and uh, Larry are related because <laughs> they sound like twins. 
<laughs> Meteor. That's exactly. I mean, no. Yeah, yeah. That's Grimm's, Grimm's preferred method of the end of the world. See, <laughs> I still, I still have hope that that people are not collectively as fucking ignorant as they are proving to be, but they are. So, but we, that doesn't mean I can't wait for it to change. We don't have anything to worry about, really. Nabooru is going to come close enough to the Earth to suck our atmosphere away, and we'll all die in two and a half minutes. Perfect. So, yeah. No problem. <laughs> Good. Larry, are you my daddy? <laughs> I could be, I, No, no, no. Well, it's just so familiar. He's been reading Grim write that for a long time. He, said he votes for the meteor, but he doesn't vote for politicians. Yeah. He, he votes for that meteor every time, yeah. Yeah, he, Grim is like the Hansel of meteors. Yeah. Hmm. I think that was a compliment. I guess it's yeah. a compliment. So I, I think it was, I meant, it. I think it was <laughs> meant that way. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's a he's as extreme with his love of meteor as Hansel is of his love for the Jew cock in Israel. <laughs> I had to say uh, that one. he feels insulted. Hey, if you don't get those fucking senators that have dual citizenship and shoot them, you're going to be bound to Israel before you know it. As if we aren't already. Well, I mean, on a personal level. Where you can't even do what I'm doing right now because it won't get put on the internet. Yeah, it's, it's World Bank again, guys. No. Who, who is who is the who? What religion are the Rothschilds? Uh oh. Uh, atheists. <laughs> well, yeah, we think Sat so. Satanists. Uh, there's yeah, Satanists and and Zionist Jews. They're Zionist Jews, Satanists. They're Kabbalists. There you go. That's, that's my idea. The Kabbalistic magic. And don't you ever think that magic ain't real because it is. Uh, mm, there you go. Too much. Yeah. Yeah, that's my truth. <laughs> magic, magic involves three things mainly. A... Mm. Uh, uh, a chant uh, or a spell spoken in a specific language that gives you the frequency needed. A verbal component. A verbal component. Type of metal. There are type, different types of metal for different types of spells. A reagent. That gives you the, something to vibrate. A reagent. And, and, and there are symbols so that you direct it. Somatic. Those symbols are Raphael's Salismanic Magic is a very good book to read if you don't know about symbolistic magic. Uh, but those are real things, and people still use these, but they don't understand that part of these spells requires a sacrifice. And some of the spells well, you practice. give them a fingernail. Some of the spells you give them a finger. Or some of the spells you give them a person. Are thousands of people. Yep. So it's it, magic is real. It is simply science that normal people do not understand. <laughs> well, there's other things too. One is. If you just because you see a link doesn't make you an expert in viruses, well, <laughs> no, no. But I, I have I have learned in the last year that when people see links on the internet, all of a sudden they know. You mean proficiency with Wikipedia doesn't make you an expert? <laughs> no, you you have to. You're not praying hard enough. Oh, damn it. Hey, there's people out there in the physical world, this might shock you, Rob, but they believe in religious beliefs that there's these things. 
Now, I see them... Oh, you're talking about them religion others. Yeah, but they, they identify what I see in a religion utter fashion. Because I see the same thing, I just identify it differently. Seeing it through a rose-colored lens. Well, maybe so, but I don't run around quoting Luke or John or Abraham or anything when I take an action. I'm responsible for my own fucking action. Universal truths are called axioms. Well, put it like this. I make Cirque smile. I don't make Hansel smile very much. At least when I do, it's not intentional. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I can't control what other people do. I can only control what I do. But I can got the direction that I want you to go in. I think Hans is a closet anarchist. Look at, look at how good the government sneaks into your personal fucking life and makes up bullshit stories and makes you dance like a muppet. <laughs> Wear a mask on the train or don't ride the train. Fuck the train. <laughs> My wife can't say that. See? Yeah. You're still dependent on well, it. This, this is your perfect excuse to get a horse. I know, huh? Mm. Yeah. And a, buggy. and a buggy. Where would I put the house? <laughs> <laughs> Who cares about the house if you got a horse? The cat. <laughs> he would be pissed. He might claw my face off. <clears throat> he sure as hell wouldn't like a horse moving in. <laughs> he was no. a little hot when we got the dog. He was like, <laughs> oh, really? A dog? Are you fucking kidding me? And I said, no, <laughs> can't work. Okay, Lou, this one time, but don't make a habit. Did you make a sign and protest? <laughs> <laughs> no, we had a talk. <laughs> I, I talked to the cat. <laughs> well, sometimes talking to the cat is more entertaining than talking to people. Yeah. Yeah, especially during the day. More intelligent conversation. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm doing both sides, so yeah. Now <laughs> I'm a little psychotic to the untrained ear, but it's actually, I think, it's a very normal behavior to talk to your pets. Yeah, and, and oh, yeah. yeah. most people do. Yeah, but no one damn fucking well. They All they know is tone of voice and maybe 10 or 15 words. Yeah. yeah, it's not like this cat understands what I'm saying, but you know when you look in their eyes, they act like they do. <laughs> <laughs> they even act interested in shit, wag their tails. Yeah, yeah they're they're no, 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 no. Cats don't wag their tails. They swish. They rub on you. They swish their tails. Their tails. <laughs> yeah, well, whatever. Well, when was last time? That's what I was going to say, Donald. They're and kind of judgmental and condescending. They're looking at you like they understand that that's, that's what they want you to think. But they're really looking at you. Listen to this dumb motherfucker. <laughs> He's trying to tell me. <laughs> See the stupid <laughs> you gave me something to eat? <laughs> Probably. Where's the hey. fish? Where's the fish? Yeah, well, you know, most of us are voting and supporting government <laughs> with our funds. So I, the cat's probably right. <laughs> You know, I got no argument because, you know, he's the communist, but he he doesn't bring me dead mice anymore. <laughs> it's because you didn't appreciate it, man. No, I think after Cirque had his nuts jumped off, he went on strike and stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the mouse gifts ended when the balls went. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, damn it. I guess we'd all react that way. I, I hope I never find out. <laughs> no shit. Speaking of fish, the Delaware. Though. What? Speaking of fish, mm. I hear somebody yeah. caught a big old fish this week. Yeah, well, uh, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. However, mm. I have finally caught enough fish for my first fishing buddy that beat me so bad. Uh, he can go again now. I've, I've Are you caught up? Out. Yeah, I'm caught up. In fact, I've I've passed him. That's how come we go up there. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So he comes back and catches the big ass. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but but one of my other fishing buddies went with me Sunday. Oh, okay. And I, I caught six little bass. 
Some of them embarrassingly small. Okay. The, the kind that you don't want to show to your mama. <laughs> okay. And, yeah. And and he hadn't caught anything. He hadn't caught anything. And he finally caught one that was kind of small. <laughs> and then we said, well, let's just drag our plugs on the way home. We'll, we'll troll all the way back to the dock. And he caught about a... It was over three and a little bit under four pound bass. Uh, nice. Really nice. Uh, he he had been with me like six or eight times before and not caught anything at all when I was catching fish. Uh, and so he's he's got his face back in the lake again. He caught two. Okay. But one was really really nice. He laid it out and took it home to eat it. I know people are going to write in about that. Got to let them bass go. Well, uh, you know, most of them, but some of them are really good to eat. Yeah. Uh, as long as you, long take as you don't take more than you use, you're doing okay. Yeah. It's like these, uh, these buzzkills just want to ruin fun. And to all those people, uh, in advance, K-M-A. Kiss my ass. Yeah, my I'm, not, I'm not big on fishing myself. I'm well, not big on eating fish or any of that. But I don't, I don't think I want to control other people that like to. So it, It's fun friend. just to be out on the water. Yeah, it's something to do. It's a recreation. Yeah. Yeah with opinions that are about it that don't do it to judge it. They just judge it from an armchair. Mm-hmm. And I, can, I have that ability. I can well, you know what? Their opinions I, are none of your business. It, well, <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> I, want it to be, it's, it's, I could be inclusive. Make it my business. But my business is my business. That's my, you know, thanks for the opinion, but it's none of my business. I could mix it with whipped cream if I wanted to, because that's how fucking real it is to me. You know, it's just life. Fuck. People make so much out of so little, you know, and there's real problems <laughs> that I should be dealing with. But they don't really seem to understand the real problems that there are, but they know all the shit they see on the Internet. Right. You know, they understand a riot real good, but they don't seem to understand that. Fractional reserve banking practices are. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I'm sitting here, you know, looking at this world of people all around me. All they're all uh, fighting for their crumbs on this sinking boat, and they seem to know it. It's not like a big secret. Yeah. Well, why not? Instead of fight, why not make, make smaller groups? And protect yourself as a collective. That's exactly what I would do. Because nobody wants to talk to each other. Well, well I, I can't even get my neighbors to talk group. to me. Well, I'm, I ran into some two guys walking towards me I didn't even recognize that I know through a friend that I'm familiar with that I hadn't seen him for months and months. They didn't click right away. Yeah. And he's at, But he's Danish and his English is a little bit off. So we had a hard time communicating, but we figured out who he wanted me to know, uh, where, the whereabouts of. So we got to communicate a little bit. Hmm. So even though the English thing, I can't learn Danish, th- these people here just go, ah, well, it's just that dumb old guy. Fuck it. Still knows where, <laughs> he still knows where Magnus is at. <laughs> it's just a matter of figuring out how to ask me. Uh, how to get it across, yeah. Right, because uh, Danish is a, the words are in a different order. So when they say them in English, they say them out of out of sequence. That's like yeah. Spanish, yeah. Yeah, it's it's just a lot of fun. I've been enjoying myself for years. You lucky you. Oh yeah, in in the world that I'm reading about and seeing on the internet, yeah, I feel very lucky. You should. You got a you got a sweet thing going there. Oh man, yeah, you do. So do you, and so does Larry, and yeah. so does Gripper, and yeah. in, in her own sense, so does Moose, because she's living in a, a pretty fucked up state, but she's a, she's surviving it. You'd think oh, things would be worse for somebody that, 
you know, like living in Ohio, there's a couple of guys in Ireland that live there. They don't complain much. Well, one of them does, but the other guy doesn't. Yep. But apparently, on the internet webs, everything you see is negative. There's not one good thing. You can't find anything good. It's all back-talking this group or that idea or this thing, but it's all negative. Very sad. It's just like religion. Out of over 5,000 religions that are practiced in the world today, only mine is correct. <laughs> Does that make me Brother Daryl or the other Brother Daryl? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to open a church so that I can have a, a, a free batch of money and get make me a millionaire <laughs> called the Eternal Church of the Mobius. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> the Mobius. Or a figure eight on my forehead. There you go. Monday. Monday. Oh, beautiful Monday. Uh, printing, printing is proceeding daily, all the time, 24 hours a day, they're printing. Uh, two coils, two big boys have been wound and tested. Mm, nice. Are you sitting down? I am. These... These are triple Mobius, 30 to 1 output, uh, and they're, they're everything that we had hoped that they would be, the, the capacitance on them is uh, unexpected. We're, we now have what we think are super capacitors because the air core they switch instantly, and if we put them on a ceramic thing, that would make them just a ceramic air core capacitor. Uh, these things have huge capabilities. We can wire them as capacitors. We can wire them as transformers. We can wire them as resistors and make one hell of a heater out of them, a, a furnace out of it. Uh, Nothing else, too. Uh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah, Jeez. we can do that with the magnetic field out of these without without turning them into heaters. Uh, the magnetic field, if you, if you put a piece of copper uh, with an iron sleeve over it through the magnetic field, that iron sleeve will heat up uh -huh. and it'll turn red hot and eventually melt. So the the magnetic field out of this one is going to make that turn red hot instantly, almost instantly, and go on to melting real quick. Uh, this is going to be used for industrial cooling, industrial freezers, ice cream factories, that sort of thing. Uh -huh. Something that needs to be flash frozen. Okay. I uh. It's I was thinking more along the lines of uh, foundry. Yeah, that too. Uh, situation. Uh, the, these are wired as capacitors. Mm -hmm. These things, they store an enormous amount of energy, but we've got 12 circuits. That's 12 capacitors in these things. Right. And uh, that each capacitor, through each capacitor, we can increase the voltage. So we'll have enough industrial voltage just to start with that we won't have to have more than six houses before we can just move right on into heavy industry. Oh, instead of the uh, small store step. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we we'll bypass that altogether. Uh, it, we... We'll still do the small stores, well, yeah. but we won't have to have them to make it work. Right. Yeah. Uh, and and the transformers we've got will give us any voltage that we want. 
I've been doing transformer drawings all week long, and instead of trying to get all of our switching out of one coil, we've gone to a five coil system uh, okay. that is working amazingly well. We get full rotation. We've got extra capacitors in it, and we're starting a motor that doesn't have a starting capacitor in it. So right. that increase that increases the ramp up, up time to get to full rotational speed. So we're we're improving that. Uh, things are. I'm getting real excited. And I'm ready for this COVID bullshit to be over with yeah, we'll so that we can leave this country. Yeah. Um, I'm almost at this point willing to spend two weeks in an airport hotel just to, just to get it gone. Yeah. Well, we've, we've, got, we've got circuitry drawings. Uh, just today, we... <laughs> We started using our own hieroglyphs. Oh yeah. The each each of these drawings, you can see patterns in the wiring. Yeah. A specific pattern for a MOSFET, a specific pattern for resistors, things like that. And now we're just using little flashcards. So we're um, creating a, a whole new electrical component symboli symbology sim symbol yeah. system. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're just using flashcards for the... Based on the shape of the circuit itself. Yeah, that way we don't have to have two lines, 1 through 12, going next to one another so we can figure out how to wire it. We right. just say, this one goes with this one, goes with this one. Boom, you're done. Yeah. And those will be symbols that we use on those specific coils. This right. coil does this. This coil does that. Uh, there you go. We're we're making this thing completely idiot proof. Right. Completely idiot proof. With the military connectors that we put on these, there will only be three leads at four leads at most coming out of any one coil. Only four leads coming out at most. Okay. So that can take a four wire fitting. A military four-wire fitting that's absolutely idiot-proof will only plug into that specific one, and we're done. Yeah, yeah. A different fitting hey, for each hey. different product. You just inspired me to go back to work. No. Uh -huh. I can become a tester for your idiot-proof. <laughs> <laughs> See if we can break it. <laughs> Here's the way to do it wrong. I can find it. <laughs> that, that's why they're military grade because they, all the army guys can't screw it up. <laughs> well, yeah, you can't read it. It, it isn't a little bit, bit of a disadvantage. But if you can read, then you have a also a disadvantage because then you think you know shit you don't really know. Yeah, so it's a catch twenty. Well, with with only one way to plug it in, and it only have a plug in yeah. for a compatible unit. There's not a whole lot of ways you can go wrong. I could do that. That, that yeah. way your field technician can take his meter out there, and the one that's not putting off a magnetic field is the one that don't work no more. Take it out, replace it with another one, and take this one back to the shop. Yeah. The shop. That's too simple. You need it more complicated so that average Joe doesn't know what the fuck is going on. What's wrong with you, Larry? <laughs> you can find out if it's working with the compass. Put the compass well, over the hole. If the hole don't read, you got a problem. Well, all I mean is that all these complex, difficult things are over complex and difficult so that yeah. people will not be interested in. No. Yeah. yeah. We, we're we're scary and people get get afraid of getting buzzed by a hot wire. Are you out of your? Give me a break. You're afraid of that. Oh. Like, uh, oh, I could get bit, bit by a spider. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, all these things that people are so afraid of. Right. Go home and I sit in your little I, bubble. I, well, <laughs> how come I'm still here? I went through all that shit. I'm still alive. Had the flu years mm -hmm. ago. Had a flu. It didn't kill me. No. Yeah, because 
I'm tough. I had a run in with the young water moccasin this weekend and didn't die. Did you kill it or did you nope. not? No, nope. no. Nope. You were sparing? Wow. Yep. Oh, so. See, did it bite you? Right <laughs> did it Very bite you? <laughs> no, no, it didn't. I We were getting real close to shore and going to rest the boat up against the shore, uh, yeah. rocky shore to fish from, and it was on shore and wanted to get in the boat for a little bit, but that's yeah. what paddles are for. I just wanted to ride. That's it. Wanted to get warm. Like yeah. Snuggle. I don't like snuggling with snakes. Thank you. Wow. Uh, I got a link for you. I'll put it in the RLM chat and see if it interests us as you guys. I don't care that they stole my gear. Care that they don't have any of their own. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Absolutely. Yeah. That's well, a good quote. Because I, I borrow other people's ideas all the fucking time. And when I remember who they came from, I credit the person I got it from. We I stole think. almost everything that we know from the ancients. Yeah, well... From, from the Mesopotamians. But see, the whole concept of stealing knowledge to me is ignorant. It should be... You should share what you know with people. That's the whole point of it. If if things weren't kept secret and private and expensive and all this other horse shit, so people had to hoard crap, we wouldn't live like this. We'd have a much better world. But... Eh, I need a billion dollars. I'm going to fuck Panama. You know, whatever your thing is. I'm disappointed. Ah, I want my money back. There is no money. This that is a disappointment. I was, well, I want a refund. <laughs> a refund. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Rob. Who knows better than me than it's all on paper? Credit yeah. promise. Well, if the government can promise me and not give, I can promise them right back and not do it too. Yeah, my IOU, my IOU is as good as your IOU. That's right. Unless the bank says no. Oh. Because you got to see if the Jews don't like you. And they go, hey, no, 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 no. They're a risk. The next thing you know, you're fighting the American military. They're stealing your freaking oil and killing all your people because... You are a threat to society. Yeah. And, and as people in this time in life, we've been a conditioned to accept these fucking ignorant stories for what this fucking totalitarian government's been doing, calling itself a land of the free forever. A land of the fucking morons. Well, I mean, talk, talking population, you know, if you tell them the same thing over and over every day, they're going to believe it sooner or later. Yeah. Well, what are they hearing, Larry, that I'm not? I don't get it. They're watching TV. They're yeah. listening to the commercials. They're in, they're be afraid. afraid. Oh. Be afraid. Yeah. Be scared. Yeah. Well, even they, when you see that stuff, it just doesn't... Fear the invisible codes. There's three oh. kinds of people in the world. Yeah. There's wolves, there's sheep, and there's sheep dogs. <laughs> Take your pick. <laughs> <Arr>! <laughs> no, I ain't ending up on the fucking plate. <laughs> I'm not rounding anybody up for somebody else's plate, so come on. See what happens. So, I figured I create my own environment. So do I. Yeah. And in my opinion, the environment that I have created is a peaceful environment. And I have yet to see anything physical to change that perspective. But I can read about it on the interwebs and be terrified of what's going on in foreign lands. And still, it's better to be a warrior who grows a garden than a gardener who needs to be a warrior. I'm going to be the gardener this time. So, I, I would spent enough time being, you know, whatever I was before. Now I'm old and calm. Now I don't, I don't want to fight no more. Now I'd rather grow the, the vegetables. Yeah. Well, it goes against what you say, but see, that's what makes everything balance: is your your way and I'm my way. Yeah. 
One one hand feeds the other because you'll need fuel and I'll need protection. There you go. Yeah. Well, not everybody on, in life is a Billy badass. You guys got to understand that, right? Well, absolutely. Well, that's the way I see it. I mean, some people are tough physically and they're imposing and they got stature and all that muscles and shit. And I ended up with the, the ability to think and to discuss the problem until it's solved. I don't have to beat you into submission. You have to do that to me. <laughs> I wish I'd have learned that when I was a teenager. <laughs> well, you know, there's, remember Cole Hand Luke, you know? Boss, why do you got to be so good to me? <laughs> what we have here is a failure to communicate. Because the man would not bow to his whim. So he beat him. And now they got Karens to do that verbally. Karens come in male and female. They're just Karens to me. Yep. Yeah, I don't, I don't see the difference between the male Karen and the female. And I saw a cop link today. Rob, you would have just cringed. Cop goes into a bar at 11 o'clock, right on the dot, tells, starts bullying people around. Put your drink down. You can't drink it. You'll go to jail, blah, blah, blah. Somebody calls him a nigger. He's a white cop. And he goes on for like 10 minutes or so. <laughs> Over being insulted by being called a nigger and he's white. <laughs> well, I know the definition of that word in the dictionary, and uh, I'm not a nigger. <laughs> you know, it's like... The audience you know what he was saying, and, and, and he, he couldn't just walk away. He, there's other cops there now at this point, and they didn't even shut him up. Yeah. So these guys are going out. They're instigating drunk people yeah. to act up so they can put him in jail yeah. for coke bullshit. Right and the public are it. Wow. Got to make some money. Taxes are down. I can't tell you how few times. I haven't seen the cops maybe once, maybe twice since the COVID started here. That's it. And that's the car passing through town, not not stopping or doing anything. Just, down. whoop, there he goes. <laughs> Still alive. The bikers didn't kill him. He must be a good guy. Yeah. I see him on the freeway giving out tickets when I go fishing. Mm-hmm. What cruise controls for? Mm. Well, I saw some bikers flying colors the other day. Yeah. But that's about it. No, no violence, no no long, you know, parades. A couple of guys, five, maybe six at the most. They stay small around here. They don't want to attract a lot of, you know, negative attention from the locals. All the bikers I know are really good people. Yeah, and these guys that I drink with, Grew up with all the the banditos that <laughs> so I just fell into this thing. I don't even know what to call it. Just survival of uh, society. Because society could, man, it could make a nut job out of you. You could get crazy and go out there and want to protest against shit. <laughs> you know anything you'd want to protest against there, Mister Works? Hmm hmm hmm. No? about you, Larry? You a protester? Oh, yeah. Well, I protest yeah. against wearing a dad blame mask. <laughs> I protest against people that are offended by things. I'm offended by them. Make them go away. Mm-hmm. Okay, but God. what does go away mean? See, it's a catch-22. Go, go away simply means leave me alone. But they got freedom of speech, see? They're abusing yeah. it. But yeah, they, well, it, have have all the freedom of speech that you want. Mm-hmm. Just leave me out of it. Right. It seems that what they do is they, they use the term freedom of speech, though, to mask an a indirect order to obey or else. Yeah. I've got a right to say this. Well, wait a minute. <laughs> Fuck off. Well, wait a bit. You don't have a right to say that. I'm, you're going to jail. Yeah, this hate speech. Not, yeah, hate this, speech. That could be anything. 
insane. This is what I saw a, a, lo, a gun, but they said he they got fired for doing it because it was all on video. I, yeah, I was, don't like your pea green car. Could be hate speech. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Larry. <laughs> you know, it, it, <laughs> they're, they're getting too carried away with this politically correct uh -huh. bullshit. Where you uh, live? Yeah, uh, everywhere. Really? On TV and shit. It, yeah, I, I fast forward through the commercials. Oh, yeah, okay. I, there's no reason to entertain that crap in the first oh. place. What could you possibly need that you need to be told you need? That's what bothers me about advertising. Well, it's like a self-help book. <laughs> what? If you need a self-help book, you don't go to the store and buy a book. You just help yourself. <laughs> it's like God ain't going to give you nothing because it says right in his, in his book, God only helps those who help themselves. And those <laughs> who use him to help themselves. <laughs> and good too, buddy. Now, why are you going to take the advice of somebody that sits there and writes a book just to make money off of you reading this damn book. Because when you do these things, you gather a following because people it, are trained to like that, Larry. But if you're ah. motivated enough to go and get a book on <laughs> motivation, you're motivated. Start doing something. If you want something, try to get it. Figure out how to get it and do it. But it's easier to blame Cirque for things not going the way I want them. No, that don't count. <laughs> well, you know what I mean, right? She's too good to you. Don't you dare be mean to right. that girl. I'm using her as an example. If I had used somebody else, she would have been mad. <laughs> I was in a losing, I was in a losing rant from the start. But hey, <laughs> point. You know. But it, see, that's what I mean. Is I dig the hole I want to be in. Yeah, and and in in some parts of reality, there's holes. I just avoid those. This is the internet, the radio, my marriage. Those are things I can deal with. But strangers that I never encountered before, I'm not going to go slap them in the head. Hey, take off the mask, you fucking idiot! No, <laughs> you can't, you can't that. that would probably get me hurt. Yeah, <laughs> that probably won't end well. No, I could see, because if somebody else, I'd pile on him. So I would assume if I did that, they'd pile on me. <laughs> yeah. Because this is, this is the social, what is it, a national socialist country or something like that. Yeah. And these fucks, they got each other's backs. It's amazing. And there's a, there's a weirdo or two in the mix for, you know, color and, you know, balance. But you know who they are. Yeah. Because we all judge each other by our own personal standards. Yeah. And I had long hair and a beard, so to some people, my exterior represents my mentality. <laughs> and it's a crazy old hippie. And the language barrier does not help me in that area. <laughs> so, but I've met so many of the kids that use me to practice English at the grocery, for example. That it, it's made it worthwhile to, to do what I've done. You know, there's almost a reward in it for the, <laughs> for the ass kicking I could take for being belligerent, but they're nice. I don't remember people being so nice to foreigners when I was in America as an American. You know, when other people recognize, oh yeah, you're one of us, one of those things. Now I live somewhere else, so I'm one of them. <laughs> Americans are well-trained. Oh, we hate you're... everybody equally. Yeah, apparently. Uh, I. It's the Jewish That's influence. Funny. Yeah, my people have struck again, Rob. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. What, you don't like my people? What's wrong with you, boy? You mm. begin in big trouble not loving the Jews. Let me tell you, my friend. Yeah, well. Getting worse all the time. Well, they're trying to make, I mean, paper laws right now. It'll be, it'll affect the bigger voices people are listening to. So eventually in time, it'll filter down to the small guys. But mm -hmm. for the while, we still have the ability, I want to use it. 
The truth is ugly, but it's still the truth. You can, you know, take the truth, uh, live with it, <laughs> or control it, change it, make it something better. Why not? That's how I see what Larry's doing with the coil. That's exactly, that's exactly what I see. It's an improvement on something that's been uh, here with us, and the technology is being withheld, and the public doesn't know that. So, I think what we need is for people to become aware that the government is actually holding back progress and diverting your attention from it by rioting and BLM and all this stupid COVID shit. But your average Joe doesn't understand you got to participate in these things to make them real. If you ignore them, they're not real. Yeah, well, I say it all the time. I said it earlier. Uh, fighting against the evil system is going to just bog you down in a fight. If you really want to make change, you got to build something better and then draw people to it. And eventually the evil system will die of attrition. We got fucked up when we agree and it's all silent. <laughs> yeah, it's like, okay, yeah, you said it. Yeah, well, uh, okay, Rob, I, I like so that. I had a call. Wish I would have said that. <laughs> but I didn't. But yeah, it, it's, uh, I mean, I say it all the time. I know we that. Need, we need a paradigm shift, not another new set of rulers. I've offered yeah. my class in that particular three-step program to unfuck the world and I don't get taken seriously. <sighs> yeah. But I guarantee it'll work. Well, yeah. But you can't get more than three people on the same page at the same time. You don't like. need to. What you need to do is break up all these big fucking groups and make them small. Mm -hmm. That's what we... That no more than six people can congregate in the same spot at one time and wear your damn mask. You know what you're advocating there, right? Shut, that's not how I mean it. Shut uh, down the well, internet. Well, I mean... It's it all right, that's going to happen. <laughs> okay, but I mean it more on a, a personal experience level. Not, I'm not advising you what to do. So no, I, I, get, I get that. How I would do things is way different how average Joe does things because he's in a trap that somehow I didn't get stuck in. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah. the, the box was never closed. So here I am. Yeah. Where that is. So naturally you jumped the fuck out. <laughs> yeah. I, man, I'm telling you, I was telling the guys at the bar a couple of weeks ago, I wish I was so fucking brilliant that I had planned all this, you know. But no, I met a Danish woman and came here and got married to her. <laughs> that's the <laughs> story. Well, that's boring as fuck. You know? <laughs> okay, I was living in Scotland and I saw America collapsing before my eyes. You know, and, and if I was to embellish and tell stories like that, they'd believe me. Yeah. Aren't you an in international spy? No, no, but I did tell a couple people, they go, well, what do you do for a living? I go, nothing. Well, what it did you do? I said, oh, I retired from the CIA. And they look at, hair, they look at how small I am. They go, the CIA? Oh, come on. You're fucking kidding me. No. See it, how good it worked? I, Spent 20, 20 years, got out. Now I'm retired. And they go, really? And they go, no, I'm fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> that is fucking with people. Just, I have this thick sense of humor or something. It's just terrible. Did it to a post guy in Scotland, too. <laughs> oh, he hears my voice. Oh, you're American. I said, no. You're not. Where are you from? Oh, I'm from Persia. He goes, No. I, I made him say no like two or three times, and I go, no, I'm kidding. I'm from America. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just the, I don't know. So, some people inspire me to, to be funny with them on, uh, in public. Yeah. And, uh, I know that all time. But when the ones that do, and, and it's like that vibration shit you talk about, Larry. <laughs> yep. Yep. You know, like doing the radio with you guys. When we agree on something, all of a sudden it's complete silence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Well, I we got a road I, 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 I can't think of anything to, to say against that. Uh, <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Try to see, try to argue because that's. I think that's the fun part of uh, conversation is the disagreeing part, right? But what we don't learn how to do is to not take it to heart. Yeah, I, I yelled at you yet. Well, there you go. But you always could, and then I'd just be like, "Hey, what the fuck, oh, shut the fuck up." No, in the most off, I would just eventually just leave. Now, I, I believe in freedom of speech, and if that's what you want to say, say it to somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> right. I ain't interested. <laughs> I don't need that. And, and, but see, then people call you a pussy. Well, okay, so I'm a pussy. I don't want to spend the time that I've got with people that want to insult me and call me bad words. And oh. if I do, I, I, go, I go to a chat room somewhere and start an argument with a, a counterpart. <laughs> it's not real it's argue. and it's not real on the internet for me some reason it's so different it's like yeah. Nick. hey Rob you're back I was trying to stall through it. food and love should not hurt oh no <sighs> but you can, you can train people to believe anything that you want them to believe if you train them properly and then untraining is that's the person that's when you got to be self responsible and face that oh this banking system I grew up with was a bunch of crap what none of this is real are you are you shitting me <laughs> what the electricity is bad oh holy when does this mess end <laughs> when they stop I spraying even, shit from the sky <laughs> I haven't even talked about fractional banking yet <laughs> would yeah. you like to. Well, I don't really understand it, although it's, if you've got a bank loan that's at 12%, whatever, there's always a fraction of a cent, a, a decimal point that carries on at the end of that. Well, the banks collect that, and it doesn't sound like very much because it's parts of a penny, but when you go through the when you're dealing billions, billions of millions, dollars, yeah. Millions, billions. yeah, it adds up. But I'm Rob. I'm sure you know more about fractional banking than I do. I just yeah, that actually has know. nothing to do with fractional reserve banking. But really, okay, cool. <laughs> so I don't know anything about it then. Yeah, that's that. But, uh, 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 you're talking about, we only got 25 minutes. Um, oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I could go through it. Fractional reserve is the concept that a bank has to keep 10% in reserve, uh, in uh, a ratio of how much they actually have in reserve compared to what they've got loaned out. Or what they create, and that's it's well. So if if you put a thousand dollars in the bank, the bank is only responsible to keep ten percent of that thousand dollars as cash on hand. So the other nine hundred is gone. Poof. Well, not only that, but they leverage it what ten times. It's a, it's the other way around. You put a thousand dollars in the bank, the bank can then turn around. And loan out ten thousand. Nine hundred. Well, right, but it's done in increments. You start with nine hundred, and then it's eight hundred, and then it's seven hundred, until that hundred is gone, and it turns into the thousand because of the process how it's done uh, on paper. Right. Well, how many folks? See, even Larry was saying, I'm not familiar with that. I've been. Yeah. I must be able to recite it back as well as you, Rob, but I get it. But there's no, but it's not even fractional reserve anymore. It's just printed as we go. <laughs> yeah. The, the debt is incalculable. You can't do it. It's, it's the whole fractional reserve thing started back when in the Goldsmith days, okay? Back when gold and silver was considered money, and that's what people used to trade. And the Goldsmiths became the bankers. The gold they, and what they would they would have a vault because that was a big deal back then. Um, 
And so the bankers would, would put your gold in their vault and give you a receipt for it. And at any given time, the bankers realized that most people were started, well, that people started trading receipts instead of actually coming and pulling the gold out. So at any given time, there was only about 10% of the people coming and demanding their gold. And so they started doing what's called fractional, what ended up being called fractional reserve banking. And they would start spending these receipts out for gold they didn't actually have. They, they would have receipts out for ten times the amount of gold that they actually had in their vault because not everybody was coming and demanding their gold at any given time. That's how run on the bank got started. The whole idea of uh, having a run on the bank was if everybody went to pull the gold out at the same time, the bank would be only to, able to pay 10% of the people that came. So that's, uh, that's actually how fractional reserve banking got started. Wow. See, I know nothing about finance. Yeah, I I had to learn about it. <laughs> and it does, it doesn't change anything anyway. Knowing about it just as pointless as not knowing about yeah. it. Yeah, and that's why I say ever since 1964, 71, I guess you could say since it, yeah when they broke from the gold standard. Um, okay. But there hasn't been any actual money in circulation since 64 when they pulled the silver out of circulation and started what about started all, making all the interest that never got printed is still added to the oh yeah there, there's no possible way to ever pay the national debt because the, the interest was never printed it's an impossibility it's it's, where, it's where a Ponzi scheme from? it doesn't okay it doesn't okay. exist and so there's a scramble on for to pay taxes because the government demands you pay taxes in their money. And so there's a scramble. So some people get it, some people don't. So there's always going to be some losers. But it's aggregated out across the population, so there's no one really to point fingers at. Oh, well... I like how the Australians are blaming the problem and avoiding who created it. Exactly. Oh, yeah. You know, well, I don't know. I took advice from so-and-so. Well, what? Are they qualified to give you this advice? No, but we're taking it. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> and, the public, and the public is so under fear. They, they live under this control that they're tolerating it and going along with the lockdowns and curfews and zip ties and I mean why don't they just bend you over a fucking table and show everybody what you really made of that would cure the fucking COVID in about 12 minutes no you know the test was bending over a table and taking it up the ass I bet people wouldn't be so willing to, to go along with the whole <laughs> all right but so instead, they're going to take a swab and stuff it up your fucking nose or behind your ear, <laughs> wherever. You know what I mean, Robert? Am yeah. I, you know, not. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty kind of a disgusting concept, but <laughs> I just think that if the government gave a fuck about human life in the first place, they would be inspiring us to eat COVID cookies. So they do the opposite <clears throat> by verbally expressing this big threat that doesn't exist and just living off the drool of the scared and the idiots. <laughs> yep. It's sad. I'm embarrassed. Fucking people are acting uh, like a bunch of idiots. They're more likely to be run over in traffic than you are to dive on this shit. But to, to be publicly afraid of it and wear a mask and... Nah, see, I've got that something. You guys seem to have it. That other people don't have it. Well, I don't know what to call it. Well, I, I think 
I think most people only wear a mask because they're being told to, ordered to. Same thing, Rod. Uh, they're uh, Americans. What, who, who the fuck is telling an American what to wear? <laughs> what? The story they're sure? going in. Okay, but that's not the country I left. I left a tough fucking country. <laughs> people, they didn't roll over just because you told them to. You had to shoot them. Yeah. Hit them with a car right. or something. We're just going to stop and do what you told them just because you said so. Well, and here we are. If you want to shop in their story, that's what you yeah. got to do. Five countries went, fuck this. We ain't doing this. Yeah. Yep. And I'm not in one of those five countries. Damn it. <laughs> Missed right. it. Five. South Dakota would get two, actually. <laughs> one of the states. Uh, South Dakota or North Dakota, one of them uh, didn't go along with all the mass shit. Yeah, I think it was South. The governor there is the female, right? I don't know. Yeah, they, they credit. Yeah, they credit. I've seen it on the internet. It, but it's either North or South. They think it's yeah. South. But woman. And they're all, hey, she said they're grown up, so let them decide for their self. That, mm. that stand. And that's the way it should have been. I'm for that, but look at how many Karens there are around. Uh, hey, Rob, it's sad. There's Karens out there that are going to insist that you don't kill them. Well, why the fuck doesn't she go home and go hide in her fucking house? Was she out in the street telling you to stop, you know, stop abusing me? <laughs> yeah. I came up my house to be here, and then so yeah. did you, and you're the one that doesn't belong here. <laughs> yeah. And people are okay with this shit. They but don't go home and open your windows. They don't question the stupidity they're looking at. It's it's very sad. Oh my goodness. Maybe uh maybe we've been abducted by aliens and they just don't want us to know it. <laughs> We're being ruled by an alien life form that's trying to kill us all. We're all living in a matrix and they're making us have a bad dream. <gasps> Ooh, hey, that would be very better. <laughs> 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 I would say, I'd rather, well, I don't know, because when I go to sleep at night, I have this whole other world I'm in. It's a dream. Well, all kinds of shit happens, man. And then the next morning, a dog wakes me up sometimes. Yeah, not every day, but certain days. This dog decides, I'm going to wake up. So, wow, I got an alarm clock with four legs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It works. It's better than planning shit. It's like the dog knows. Hey, you know what? Get him. <laughs> Alien abductions, and he's just glad you're home. Oh, man. No kid. There's nothing like a dog. Absolutely. Cat, the cat doesn't give a shit unless he's hungry. But the dog, boy, that, that dog acts the same way to everybody as she does yeah. with me. She's just a livable dog, and I've never seen her... Uh, negative to human. If you ever see that from that dog, stay away from that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cirque walks her down to the beach and says she's had the problem with two people. The dog doesn't like them. <laughs> that wow. Because Hannah loves everybody. It's just sickening. She's such a loving pet me. And, you know, every time somebody comes over, if they go out for 20 minutes and come back, they got to do it again. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Because she forgot they were just here. They, she has no recall at all, just in the moment. <laughs> oh, human petting me. Ooh. <laughs> and yeah. if I did that, my wife would kick me in the balls. <laughs> well, the dog does it, but, you know, I can't, I can't act that way. I have to, you know, I have to have a, a, a presence of mind and body that's suitable for society. Uh-huh. Yeah, amazing, huh? Didn't know that, did you? It's crazy. The way I talk, you'd swear I'd sit around, you know, I, with a shotgun naked, you know, smoking a pipe. <laughs> you mean you don't? Close, but not quite. No <laughs> shot. <laughs> You're describing me. Well, what a... So there you go. We got, we got balance here on... The drop in the coil show. <laughs> we can drop a fucking coil, people. Let me tell you. <laughs> right. But 
when you ask a specific uh, question, you get a pretty good answer back. I think we've all held our own. Yeah, I hear a bell coming through. But I think we've all held our own on the incoming you know, question. But he's getting a sky yeah, call. Not, yeah. yeah. One of them. Popular. <laughs> They've got fans out there going, hey, I want to talk to Larry Woods. <laughs> Hey, I'm one of them, Larry, because I, I think this coil yeah. thing is, uh, it's just like, uh, hmm. in the beginning when the Rolling Stones were just a bunch of bums, you know, looking to play music, there was part people lingering that hung around. And, yeah. Um, yeah, and probably they found a lot of people work in the, in the 50 odd years they've been a band, you know. And now they're saying, we were there then. Well, most of them are dead, but sure. Well, the ones left, yeah. Think yeah. about the world you're going to leave. Keith, please, have a little respect. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is where we're at. In a sense, I mean, you got Joe Biden and Trump to look forward to, or Trump, you know, one or the other. <laughs> right. This, this is my dream come true. I, I hate to tell you that, but it's... Trump with Biden as a vice president. Whoa, the end of the world. That <laughs> Apocalypse. Man, people be crying the meteor didn't hit. <laughs> <laughs> These two fuckers. Yeah. Hey, Larry. Uh, did y'all talk any more about doing franchises or... Uh, uh, yeah, and... Other facilities and things? Yeah, that's going to be a definite probability. There's, there. All, all we need is places to build this stuff, and yeah, as as many places as we can get opened up. It's going to go. Okay. I, I don't want to sound like it's an absolute because it's not yet. No paperwork has been exchanged hands. Okay, but any any kind of a project like this that we can get going, right? Uh, we have the solution. That's an absolute fact. We have the 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 filmed scientific data from the tests to to prove that what I'm saying is is correct. Right. Uh, the since we've got this big coil going and understand how to use the other kinds of coils as electronic components and realizing that we have to separate out the different parts of a motor to different coils, mm -hmm. that that bounces forward a long way. Uh, okay. And now our, now our bench testing is taking six, eight hours every time we get together to do it, and we're finding out new things all the time. We're going to reposition one of the one of the test benches and build a, a, a device to tell whether or not it's losing weight. It can't be a scale because oh, I yeah. can't tell you if it's... To see if you're weight. getting levitation. Yeah, you need a balance. Yeah, you need yeah, balance beam. Balance. yeah. So that we're we're getting that done. Okay. Uh, the the room temperature, the switching coil never leaves room temperature ever. There's no temperature increase in it. Right. The problem with MOSFETs on an electronic circuit is that the longer you run them, the hotter they get. Yeah, they just keep building up heat. Yeah. Yeah. And when when we're using these coils as switching coils, they do not heat up. There, there's absolutely no heat in these coils. Uh, the magnetic field varies, but that's just... It's like a sine wave that's laid horizontally rather than vertically. Mm. And it goes all the way around the coil on the outside equator, okay. just like the rings of Saturn, but it uh -huh. undulates. Okay. 
Uh, so it, it's an amazing thing. Uh, and uh, Washington got helicopters. When we fired Big Boy up for the first time in Washington, helicopters came over this house within about five minutes. Oh, really? Oh, really. Uh, so, they, so, so they can detect this. One. They can detect this. And this, this Big Boy puts out a linear monopole beam. Depending on the polarity that you the the way you hook the polarity to it, uh -huh. when you hook this thing up as a full capacitor, every single circuit as a capacitor uh -huh. in series, then okay. this thing shoots out a single pole beam out of the vortex. Uh -huh. Nothing around the perimeter. Nothing on the sides. Nowhere is there any other field except out of the vortex. Okay. So, and I guess they didn't understand what that meant. That That's a linear beam that can be used as a carrier wave for communication. Uh-huh. So, so, you've got communication for free. Right. And that's a magnetic wave? Yeah. Beam? It's a magnetic wave. Yeah, a magnetic beam. A magnetic monopole. beam monopole. Yeah. I can think of that kind of crazy shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And so they, they obviously detected that and sent out helicopters. Not just one. No, there, there were two that, that showed up at his place. Wow. Huh. It rattled his windows, just like really? it did here. Right over it. Yep. Yep. That's crazy. But it was it was kind of a of an interesting thing. Yeah. Uh, he's he's worked a lot with Bedini stuff. Yeah. Uh, no, not Bedini. Uh, who's the Indian guy? Oh, uh... Kishi. Kishi. Kesh. K-S-H-E. K-E-S-H-E. Kishi. Kesh. Okay. Whatever. Uh, doing the Magrav stuff. Okay. And, uh... They they got to where they could project the field, but they didn't know what to do with it. And the over unity that they were collecting was the counter EMF. We don't have any counter EMF. That's why it's efficient. It, there's never mind. That's a whole other conversation for another time. <laughs> yeah, we're down to four uh, minutes. Um, well, that's all. So, has this guy ever had a before? I mean, if he, has he ever been on the radar before? Or is uh, the person no, in Washington? Uh, I mean, if he, has he ever had a visit or had any issues no, before? Just, no, it's just helicopters this time. So, that was the first it's time he's ever had anything like that happen. So, they weren't already watching him, is my point, uh, I guess, what I'm yeah, getting to. Yeah. Um, yeah, he or, lives, he lives yeah. out in the country in a in a community of ten houses. Okay, so yeah, and so they detected that and sent helicopters out. And so what? They just flew around for a while and touched yeah, touch yeah, it yeah. off or something or what? Well, oh. he was he was sitting in a chair when he was taking the readings. He said it was really funny. He was sitting in a chair as he was taking readings, and. When he heard them, he sat there finishing up his readings. And when when he got up out of the chair and waved at them from inside of his house, not next to a window because they were straight above him, uh -huh. they left. Uh -huh. That was when they left. Interesting. So obviously they were seeing him yeah. at least through infrared inside the house. Mm -hmm. uh, so they can see through your roof. 
Oh, yeah. I ain't paranoid. This shit's for real. Oh, I know. I was just making a joke uh, in the chat room because that's uh, Hans uh, uh, says he's an engineer and he works on satellites that can see through the roof and he's always saying, uh, oh, we're, yeah. wa we're watching you through your roof. Yeah, you bet. And they've been doing that for a long time. Yeah, it's not that's real. That's the red. Yeah. So there you have it. You're welcome. Thank you. The least <laughs> I can do. Because I'm, I'm responsible for what I do. Uh-huh. Can I blame the shit I do on you? If it makes you happy, of course you can. Good. Because you know what? As long as I don't have to hear it, I'm sure I won't notice. <laughs> <laughs> well, agreeing makes things real there, Larry. Maybe we'll talk yeah. about that next week. Okay. Thanks a lot, guys, for letting me play in the Drop in a Coil show. Yes, sir. Appreciate, appreciate you being here. <laughs> and appreciate everybody for listening. Thanks for all your information and sharing with us, Larry. Yep. Always here for you guys. Love it. Yeah, oh, cool. That's awesome. And that is the show for today, Thursday, September 24th, 2020. Yeah.